Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. St. Clair Healthcare. Offering 32 medical specialties and only one priority. You. Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Doing business with a handshake and a promise. Eagle Finance. Loans made easy. Payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major Brands Tire and Auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Row Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. And by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Hi everyone and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the Academic Athletic Center on the campus of Moorhead State University alongside the Eagle Head basketball coach Preston Spradlin. I'm David Patrick. Good to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon on the CW and Preston. Speaking of good, get, good to get a few OVC wins under your belt, not only at home but also on the road. Yep, you know, very fortunate that we started our, uh, our win streak there at Tennessee State on the back half of that Nashville mm -hmm. swing and you know we knew that was a very important game for us. That was one that we needed to, to, to really key in on and do a good job and, 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 and turn the page and get that streak going to come home for a four-game four, uh, four game homestand. And so we were certainly uh, pleased with our guys and their efforts and their focus to be able to do that and give us some momentum coming home. Stay with us when we come back. Moorhead State grinds out a win against Tennessee Tech here at Johnson Arena. Those highlights are next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Where there is a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. Come let our friendly staff assist you with any of your banking needs. First National Bank is proud to be a part of this community and to be a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National Bank is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Go Reno! There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy our delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with trademark honey butter rolls, the best bucket of peanuts in town, and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogenhofer, and I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here in Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Larry Fannins and Moorhead is celebrating 69 years and we do business the old-fashioned way with a handshake and a promise. Larry has more than 350 vehicles in stock from budget busters and certified pre-owned to the newest offerings from GM. All of our new models include a lifetime powertrain warranty and our certified vehicles come with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I'd love for everyone to stop by and see us at Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. Green Tree Forest Products in Wallingford pays top prices for saw logs and sanding timber. We produce 25 million board feet of Appalachian hardwood lumber annually and manufacture custom hardwood and pine pallets. We've also teamed up with Robinson Stave and are ready to offer top prices for stave logs. Green Tree is owned and operated by the third and fourth generations of the J.C. Wells family. For 65 years, our commitment to quality and unsurpassed customer service is stronger than ever. We welcome your business at Green Tree Forest Products. 
This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Goals, ten, plus 10 on the glass. Must win this battle tonight. You will not get a win unless you're plus 10 on the glass. Non-negotiable. You have to be plus 10 on the glass tonight. That means finish your possessions and then us getting some extra ones. All right? Keep sharing that ball. Easy plays for each other. You get open shots. Knock those things in. Take care of it, guys. Their pressure cannot dictate what we do tonight. All these things we talked about, stepping across, getting open, strong with it, two feet, second cuts. We cannot turn this ball over tonight. The most hungry team is the one that wins. We cannot be complacent, all right? We can't go and just say, all right, we were the hunter and we're still, no, we're the hunted now. We're the hunted now. We gotta act accordingly and we gotta be hungry from the jump. Let's go. Let's have some fun, fellas. Let's have some fun from the jump. Gotta come out ready to guard, okay? Attack, attack, attack. Let's go, together on three. One, two, three. Together. Preston, you stressed to your players in the locker room how big of a game this was and, uh, and what they needed to do to get a W. Yeah, you know what? We talked about to our guys this week that uh, when you win three in a row, you've gone from being, uh, being the hunter to being the hunted. And that's a new feeling for our guys. And so we stressed that to them of how important our week of practice was, our preparation, and then our goals of the game and our keys and the, you know, making sure that we're stressing those and executing those throughout the game and being mindful of the, the key components that are going to win this game. And so I thought our guys did a pretty good job coming out to start. You saw there Lamontre getting a great drive using his versatility and quickness, Davon doing the same thing. And how about this guy, Jordan Walker was, was absolutely phenomenal in the first half. AJ did a nice job finding him there. Uh, really good to see James here. James didn't show up, you know, necessarily uh, eye-popping in the statistics, you know, six and six in this game, but James played an unbelievable game defensively, challenging shots, all those things. Good to see Malik Green, uh, very efficient, right there on an out-of-bounds underplay, waiting on his screen, using the screen. Jimon playing off of his shot fake gave us a good 13 minutes and efficiency last night. Um, you know, but here it is again, us getting stops, getting out in transition, and you know, we say it all the time on the show here, Dave, but we want to play that way as often as we can, and in order to do that, you got to be a great defensive team. I thought Ja'Cory Wilson really played well for us, and you just see multiple efforts is something that we really stress with our guys. We got an offensive rebound off great execution from a good shot to a second effort, two guys to the floor, finding an open Jordan Walker. Uh, Jordan right there playing the point for us in a ball screen using what we call the hostage dribble to occupy two defenders and then finding Malik. And again, that, that looks like deja vu. That's us getting a stop and getting the ball to AJ and him pushing the ball until he gets stopped and then finding an open Jordan Walker, which forced the timeout there for, uh, for Tennessee Tech. And so I uh, was really pleased with our guys. Uh, again, same thing here. We, we watched this one with the guys at breakfast. This was a great execution to get Davon a good, a good nice shot. And by doing that, you know, Malik opened himself up for a free run, free run right to the offensive glass. Uh, we spread the floor out a good bit right here. We kind of changed our alignment on our normal offense, and we wanted to bring Big Micah Henry out on the floor a little bit, and he didn't want to come out and guard. And uh, the result was we were able to get our forwards, who were very versatile, out there to, to showcase their ability to make some shots with uh, Malik and Lamontre. I thought this was great. This was Lamontre being aggressive, driving the ball, getting the two feet. Again, that second cut action that we stress so much, which is a big part of what we want to do, uh, was, was very important. Uh, right there, just an inverted ball screen, big to big. That's our guys playing. That's, that's uh, just great versatility, again, by our forwards with James on that finish. And then you see Lamontre, great patience in the post, kicking out to an open uh, A.J. Hicks. And we call those inside out threes and if I mention that to our team they're going to reply with the with the mantra the inside out threes are like layups and then, then obviously Malik Green right there that one is very much like a layup with great execution from Jordan Walker again uh, Jordan getting in there this is one of the few that we were able to get in and, and finish against a very long uh, physical Tennessee Tech squad they really challenged us at the rim again great execution here Lamontre cutting hard getting Jordan open for a three in front of the bench falls short but Lamontre stays with it and gets us one. So we went to him as often as we could. He had a very efficient night, 23 minutes, four fouls, played the foul trouble much of the night. But he goes five of six from the field, 12 points, 11 uh, rebounds, and two assists and a steal. So very, very, as you see right there. Again, you know, it was important that we did not get, we, we talk, we say, don't get in a mud wrestling match with these guys. Got to use our quickness. 
Uh, here we broke the press, we bring it out, we're trying to bleed some clock, spreading them out a little bit, taking advantage of playing with a lead and the aggressiveness that Tech would have to play with, and then Davon just making a, a fantastic play to find, uh, to find James under the basket for the flush. And so that was one of three James dunks, and that was the only one that he made during the game. Unfortunately, he, he really ran the floor and had a couple good ones that he was, just didn't finish. And so, um, you know, this was a lot of fun running out of the tunnel right here, and we made sure to congratulate Coach Coleman and our cheerleaders on their, uh, their national championships that they won last week. The final score from Johnson Arena, Moorhead State wins 67-61 to over Tennessee Tech. Stay with us when we come back. Highlights of Moorhead State's game against Jacksonville State on Saturday with the voice of the Eagles, Chuck Mraz. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Dr. Mary Phillips is one of the most compassionate, kindest doctors that I know. Dr. Phillips is a very caring person. She's one of the surgeons that you want to call on. St. Clair provides the much needed medical help, not only for Round County, but for the adjoining counties around us. St. Clair is one of the best things that have ever happened to our region. My name is Jack Rowe with Rowe Insurance Agency. We have been in the insurance business for over 50 years. We have a multitude of companies that can provide for you a comprehensive insurance plan at a reasonable price. We welcome your business and we will treat you like family here at the Rowe Insurance Agency. Hi, I'm Brock Littrell, President of Commercial Bank of West Liberty. For more than 100 years, we prided ourselves on treating our customers like family. The technologies we offer afford you the ability to bank with us from anywhere. Hi, I'm Howard Elam, CEO of Commercial Bank. I'd like to thank you for trusting us with your banking needs. Hi, I'm Glenn Sorrell, Major Brands Tire and Automotive Service. Major Brands is the top selling tire dealer and auto repair shop in Moorhead and Mount Sterling. We carry all the major brands with more than 1,600 tires in stock. Check out our easy online catalog to find the perfect tire for your car or truck. Our certified technicians are well qualified to service your vehicle, including brakes, tune-ups, alignments, custom wheels and tires, and much more. Major Brands is a proud supporter of Coach Bradley and Moorhead State Basketball. Go Eagles! Picks up top Baker, around the right to Cooper with 18 on the shot clock. Baseline right to drive, the scoop, it'll roll and go. Moorhead State's tied to two. Between the circles, out to Hicks. Hicks up top Cooper. Cooper shoots the three, swish! And we're tied again. Walker toward the top of the key. Runs toward the right elbow, wide left, Henson. Henson, catch and shoot, three, yes! Diamond Henson gives Moorhead State the lead. Cooper down the wing away, he's back out to green, high right, wide left, Henson, another catch and shoot three, yes sir. Diamond Henson with six early points, a real spark plug off the bench thus far, 17-13. Purnell out top, around the right to Hudson. Hudson curling left, wide left, Gregory bounce left to the lane, Purnell on Harris. Tries to take it down straight away, Hudson, he'll shoot the three, yes. Long rebound kicks out to Gregory, battling Green across the line. Heads to the near side, toward the corner. Gregory turns, 19-footer, he hit it. Cooper on the angle drive to the lane. Dish down low, Harris somehow caught it, and the double team knocked away. Burnell with it for Jacksonville State, driving on Baker all the way down. He lays it home. Jacksonville State suddenly in front, 22-21. Free throw line, Green, high right, Henson. Bounce right block extended, Harris. He'll fake on Burnell, turn to the lane. Turn left, turn right, put it up with one hand, and roll and go. Hicks after the inbound, left wing, 10 to shoot, straight away, Green, he'll launch the three, got it! Billy Green. To Mostella, left hash Hudson. Hudson driving the left wing. Stop in traffic, down low Cunningham, triple team, takes it baseline right, reverses and scores. Hicks left corner, Walker. Walk fakes on Hunter, fakes again. He'll angle in on the drive. Up and under to his left, off the glass and in from five out. Jordan Walker with six. 
Back to the goal free throw line. Straight away Harris, left side Hicks. Hicks trying to angle in, can't do it. Now he'll turn it back out, shoot the three and knock it down. A.J. Hicks with seven. Hunter toward the corner. Back out to the line, Hudson. Hudson high left, into Baker and Hicks. Straight away, man open, Gregory for three, nothing but net. Check that Purnell. Purnell, far side Hicks. Hicks, baseline left, Harris. Fakes, looks, wide left, Hicks open from three point, land switch. AJ with 10, Warren State cuts the deficit in half. 44-38, again by six, Jacksonville State. Hicks, wide left, will launch another three and hit it. Coming out for it, Harris, left wing, Hicks. Straight away, Baker, catch and shoot, three, got it! Baker's first points get Morehead State within two, trailing 46-44. Hicks inside the hash, turns it toward the top of the key to his right. Far side, Baker, he'll catch and shoot, another three swings! James Baker, two straight triples. Hudson, driving left of the lane into Harris. Now, Hicks coming over. Hudson gets by him and scores the layup. Pounding it down there on Harris. He'll drive on LaMontre to the block. Spins to his right, turns, hooks, hits. Coming away with it, Hudson for Jacksonville State. They lead by five. Hudson pitches it back behind him to Mostella. He'll drive left, cut to the lane, score it with the left hand off the glass on the scoop. 14 to shoot, 2.30 left to play. Right wing Hudson drives to the lane. Fades and fires as he pushed off. Seven on the shot clock. He missed the shot, but tapped in by Burnell. Rebound tap. Walker has it for Moorhead. Down the right sideline, Cooper. Driving on Mostella to the goal. The layup count. Nine for Davon Cooper and Moorhead State back within six. Harris a rebound. 14 seconds to go. Lamontre, high right to Hicks from 24 for three. High off the back of the rim, no. Fight for the rebound. Take it away, Jacksonville State. Gregory with four seconds to go. He'll dribble out the rest of the clock, and the Gamecocks will hold on to win this thing here this afternoon at LSD Johnson Arena. Final score. Morehead State sees its four-game winning streak go by the boards with a 77-71 loss to Jacksonville State. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple. Loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $3,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. Holbrook's Embroidery Plus has been family owned and operated for nearly two decades. And we're proud to serve our friends and neighbors in Rowan and surrounding counties. We do embroidery, screen printing, vinyl, sublimation and corporate apparel, sports jerseys and so much more. We offer fast turnaround with top quality and customer service. We're conveniently located in downtown Moorhead. We're a community leader and proud supporter of local athletics. So come visit us and see what everyone's talking about at Holbrook's Embroidery Plus. Hello, I'm Gary Markham with Tim Short Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We have over 4,000 vehicles to choose from, offering new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford, all with a lifetime limit of powertrain warranty. For more than 20 years, Tim Short has been serving your friends and neighbors in the Kentucky area. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction here in Moorhead, Kentucky. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Eagle Trace Golf Course is one of Kentucky's finest, nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead. The unique and challenging course offers year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, and a covered pavilion perfect for great outings. We're proud to be the home course of the Moorhead State University men's and women's golf teams. I'm Bill Redwine and I invite you to join us at Eagle Trace Golf Course or visit us online at moorheadstate.edu slash eagletrace.
Welcome back to this week's edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. This week we're joined by special guest, head coach of our women's program, Greg Todd, in his fifth season coming off of back-to-back 21-win -back seasons and off to a great start this year. Coach, talk a little bit about the year you're having so far, some of your players, and just a fantastic job that you've done in your fifth year here at Moorhead State. Thank you, Coach. Been been a fun ride. We do have a very talented team. We. Uh, uh, are, are an enjoyable team uh, to work with day in, day out, and it's great uh, working with you every day. But uh, uh, this team uh, uh, has a lot of new faces. Uh, we, we do have some old, uh, Miranda Crockett, a uh, young lady who's already over 1,500 points, makes a person a pretty good coach when you have a player that hits over 50% of her shots and uh, just works hard every possession. But, uh, just had a great, great career here. and. Uh, uh, Darian Seward's a three-year starter, point guard for us, so we, ha we, we had a little stability in, in uh, those two, and then uh, we were fortunate. We had Crystal Simmons, a transfer from St. John's, who's maybe our most complete player overall, but not a, not a big score, but just does a lot of little things. She's had, uh, had a couple injuries, but uh, is fighting hard for us. We had Mackenzie Calvert, who uh, is a graduate transfer who gives us tremendous athleticism and, and, and a tough, tough young lady. And then uh, we were able to add Aaliyah June, who played high school basketball with Crystal Simmons. And Aaliyah is leading the conference in scoring. And good news about her, she's a junior. So uh, got, got a good, uh, uh, good year ahead uh, of her. And she just uh, scores the ball in so many ways. And uh, I think it's been, uh, Moorhead State's been a real good fit for her. And, it's, uh, it's a very uh, special team there, and, then, and I didn't even mention Tiara McCallan, who was leading the nation last year in offensive rebounding, third overall in rebounding, and ended up breaking an ankle. And it's been a little bit of a slow recovery, and she came back uh, second game of the year, had a, a severe sprained ankle. So uh, uh, it's a pretty pretty good group to start with, and uh, so it's been been fun. We uh, had. Had two injuries, lost at Austin P in, uh, in a close game, had a last second shot to win. We had a little bit of a disappointing game, not that to lose to Belmont, but just didn't play our best game. But we've had a, had a lot of great games and looking forward to getting into the thick of the race uh, here as we're getting, getting into uh, latter part of January. Yeah, coach has been sharing some of those uh, those road uh, woes. I guess you could say we we spent a lot of time in hotels and buses and things like that. He's come out with a lot, a lot of wins on the road though this year. And I want to give another one of your players a shout out. Aaliyah June has been terrific. I think she could play for my for my team and and, and score a significant amount of baskets. But a lot of fun to watch. She uh, she does she uh, finishes quarters. It's uncanny how she can make shots. Uh, she just knows that's her time to get the ball to her, and she uh, uh, makes very tough shots uh, to, to finish quarters. And she, uh, uh, I think, has really grown. I think at Rutgers, she only shot like eight, eight free throws, uh, uh, but she's been able to, to change, change her game and uh, get, to, get to the free throw line and attack the basket. Well, I think that's a testament to you and your staff and, and using your personnel the right way, blending all these new players. And so, Coach, great year so far. Can't wait to see you on the second half of uh, the OVC schedule that we've got coming up. Very challenging, but I know you and your, your girls, you, you'll all be ready for it. And uh, we look forward to seeing how you guys finish this year and go for three straight 20-win seasons, probably for the first time in, in program history. And Coach Todd is, uh, is, is leading that for us, and we're very thankful to have you here. So stay with us. We'll be right back with Inside Moorhead State basketball. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead.
Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking with a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to come and bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best. The Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Welcome back in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball and thank you again so much for tuning in today on this Sunday on the CW Lexington Preston. Uh, home has been very good to the Eagles but now back on the road SIUE on Thursday and Eastern Illinois on Saturday a couple of teams that are playing good basketball. They're playing really well um, they've been in a lot of tough games you know SIUE coming off a triple overtime win at SEMO um, Eastern Illinois has been playing very good this is the best Eastern Illinois team since I've been here at Moorhead State and uh, Coach Spoonhour are doing, doing a terrific job a lot of new young players and a lot of adversity for their program but they're having a great year and a lot of close wins is what they're having here in conference and so those are hard to come by whether you're at home or you're on the road and so for us we got to have a great week we got to really prepare um, obviously playing on the road we haven't done it in a little while but we're certainly no stranger to it uh, but that's a tough road swing it's a tough road swing for everybody in our league to, to go up there and play the Illinois schools and it's another one once I you know we've said it before you can't play the scores and you can't look at the records each matchup is is very different and these will be two very tough road tests for us that we're gonna have to really perform and, and come and come ready for a battle. Thank you so much for watching this week and on behalf of the MSU basketball coach Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. Once again, thank you for watching and we will see you next Sunday right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball has been brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Healthcare, offering 32 medical specialties and only one priority, you. Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major brands, tire and auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Row Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll and by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide.